Hello Sci-Finers, welcome back to another episode of Durability Test. This time we have Redmi Note 6 Pro and we are going to put this device to our test. We decided to test the limits of the Redmi Note 6 Pro's water resistance. Can it survive under extreme conditions? Let's find out. It's time for an experiment. <laughs> So before proceeding further, here is the quick disclaimer. Seriously guys, you don't try this at home, it could seriously damage your phone. Interestingly, the Redmi Note 6 Pro comes with a PTY coding that should give it an added layer of protection against the elements. There is no IP rating but the device should be able to withstand the occasional splash of water. But what will happen if you drop your phone into a lake or maybe into this bucket full of water? To answer these burning questions, we are doing this durability test all in the name of science. The longer your device stays underwater, the lower its chances of survival are. You must dig in there and take that phone out of the water right away. Yes, even if it's in the toilet. The good news is that even non-waterproof phones these days are generally at least a little more resistant to water than phones from years past. Water resistant phones have become a major selling point for a number of high-end manufacturers. Well guys, phone is powering on but not booting up. A small splash with or even a quick dip into fresh water might not pose any problem to a phone with the adequate water resistance reading. It's certainly a useful feature to have offering protection for your expensive gadget against accidental spills. You can even take some wonderful underwater pictures these days, however much of the marketing doesn't really line up with the reality. Unfortunately, this is not the case so let's take a look at what you should really expect from a water stand phone. As you can see, phone is still not booting up. Similar situation with water depth. Take your hands are too far down and the seals encasing your phone's inwards will likely buckle under the pressure. It's important to bear in mind that pressure underwater is a tricky thing. Moving a phone while submerged can create extra pressure on its surfaces.
You can clearly see that the front camera has water inside. Our phone is not powering on which means it's dead and failed our test. This test was expensive and time consuming so guys if you found our video useful consider subscribing.